hey guys welcome back to the channel it's farmhouse mama so in today's video i am going to be creating a centerpiece for this is going to either be on my coffee table or on my um fireplace mantle and this is going to be for fall so um let me just run by you and i was getting ready to do this and then i said well let me just go ahead and bring them along so they can see what i did so um the first item that I have is this, um, I think it's a shelf. I don't know if it goes in the bathroom or whatever, but I purchased this shelf from Big Lots and it was on clearance for $11.20. So I figured I would go ahead and get it and see if it would work with what I wanted to do because I was going to do something like this on a much smaller scale. But I think that this would work on a larger scale and it would actually fit perfectly on my coffee table or my fireplace, whichever one I decide to do. So um, it hangs up. So I'm going to assume that it may be for a bathroom or something, but I'm not going to be hanging it up. Um, the next thing that I have here is these dry section um, floral foam. And I should have gotten the other kind but I already had these so this is what I'm going to be using and then I picked up three of these glasses from the Dollar Tree and I also have an assortment of um, flowers that I'm going to be using and so the first thing we're going to do is um, I'm going to figure out how I want this to look and then I'm going to glue the foam down and then we're going to put the glasses on top. So let me figure out how I want this. And I'm doing it from over here. Because this is where the glue gun is. Which I also have my trusty glue gun. Well this isn't the one I trust. This is the only one I have glue sticks for. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Okay so I think I have it figured out how I want to... Um, glue this down so this is my method this is the way I'm going to glue it so I'm going to let the glue gun continue to get hot and then I'll come back once it's all glued down Okay, so here I have all my um, flowers cut and I'm just trimming them just a little bit shorter so that they fit into the foam really well. And I'm just choosing the flowers that I want to use first and just kind of making this up as I go along really. So uh, there's no rhyme or no reason to it. It's just a matter of preference. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Just, ooh, skew the ash elbow. Woo! No, please, don't hold that against me, y'all. I had no idea. Anyway, um, yeah, so I, I should have taken the time to cut the flowers down just a little bit shorter before I did, um, this, but I just wanted to get them off the stem, and then I already knew that afterwards I could go ahead and trim them just a little bit lower. So this was a little bit time consuming because I had to cut them all off the bush and then I had to turn around and cut them again. And I couldn't find my um, wire cutters or my needle nose pliers. So I was using the scissors and just kind of bending um, everything, bending the wire back and forth until it snapped. So, um, I think it's coming along great. I probably should have turned it towards you guys just a little bit so you can see what I was doing a little bit better, but um, I apologize for not doing that, but I think it's really turning out great just the way it's going, the way things are going right now.
Okay, so I was struggling a little bit right here getting one of the uh, flowers cut down. So that's why you don't see me doing anything in front of the camera. But there we go. Behind the scenes, I was tugging and pulling at that thing. And I finally got it loose. So I'm inserting it right now. So I thought the reason why, oh well, the reason why I thought that this would be something fun to do is because um, you can add your own stamp onto what you're doing and this is more like a a personal piece for me versus buying them from the store now i did see these in the store but trust me they were on a much smaller scale so i thought that um doing it this way i could have it on a much larger scale and it wasn't um that expensive because again like i said i had accumulated the flowers over the last couple of weeks so um it was really really easy for me to put this together after i um i'm sorry y'all it was really really easy for me to put this together once i had an idea of where i wanted to see glass vases to go then it was just a matter of doing what I felt felt good to me. And this is what felt good to me. So this is what I went with. I can't forget the day we met. Your eyes so blue, me pressing through. I can't forget the day we met. Your smile so bright, it made me small. I love is like a summer's day. Hot sun and less in a magic way. Whenever I see you, all I can think is my son. Your hair, your 
look, you're everything When I see it all, I knew that you were mine I'm in love with your hair, your lips Your silhouette in the moonlight shine With my love, you won't ever be alone My son, my love, been waiting for you So you have my whole, you have my control Love me tender, love me sweet With you I know that I'm complete I'm in love with the summer's day For you I'd give my life away Never leave me, never let me go My summer love, be waiting for you my Okay, so I'm almost done with um, the front and now I'm just going to turn it around so I can work on the back side because I do not want any spaces or anything missing from the back side because I don't know wherever, wherever if I decide to place this on my coffee table, you are going to be able to see it from both sides. So that's why I wanted it to look nice on both sides because I may place it on my coffee table or I may put it on my fireplace. It just depends. So I'm just adding some finishing touches here. Um, this this isn't, I don't think this is lamb's ear that I purchased, but it is like that lamb's ear uh, green color. And because I will be leaving the uh, sage color curtains that's in my living room, I will be leaving those up as, um, as a part of my fall decor. I thought it would just be neat to add some of that um, color in there to give it you know a little bit more dimension a little bit more texture and I don't want all of my colors to be too dark I still want it to be like light and airy like it was here in springtime so that's why I decided to keep that color in my um, arrangement that I'm making all right guys so this is the finished look I love the way it turned out I think it is wild and wonderful and this is what it looks like with a candle inside of it so I'm going to get me some of the LED candles or the battery operated ones that go inside of here um, so you can see what it looks like once it's illuminated and all nice and glowy and everything this is the front i am going to get some more than little pumpkins to put on the back side but this is the front 
and then I'll show you the back if I can turn this baby around all right let me turn it around and I'll show you the back okay so this is the back side um, I may make this the front side I don't know but I like the way this looks um, like I said I'm gonna get some more pumpkins and I think I am gonna use it up here on my fireplace because I did want something to hide the sound bar that I have up here so I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different with the mantle this year so stay tuned for that and it's going to be so great when I incorporate it into um, all my other uh, colors and stuff let me just show you what I'm talking about really quick so you guys can get a really good idea of where I'm going this year okay so these are the curtains that I purchased with it and again they are coming off a lot lighter on camera as well as um, this arrangement is coming off a lot lighter on camera this color right here is actually not future fuchsia it's actually purple so it's coming off a lot lighter than normal but these are the colors um, and I still I love them so and this is the actual color of the curtains if you can see that it's not this bright color that you see down here I'm sure I mentioned that in the last video but um, who knows I'll probably tweak this and make a couple of changes to it but it won't be much all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and go if you like this video please give me a thumbs up um don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already if you are a previous subscriber welcome back to the channel like i said i will be putting up more and more fall stuff so get ready get ready get ready and that'll do it for me today i will talk to you guys in the next video see you then bye bye